Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all the Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. This is the month of August 2017. I want to say thank you for your support and your likes and shares and thumbs up. Thank you so much. This month of August is going to be a month of empowerment. It's going to be a month of finding your inner wisdom, your inner light, who you are as a person, as a spiritual dream on this planet. You are Earth sign and this is going to be extremely good for you guys. There is going to be balance in this month for you guys. Whatever that has been happening, there is going to be an end to it. Love is looking up in this month also and I don't know what is happening but for um, a lot of people the energy of love soulmate relationships are coming in in the second week and the energy vibration also in the second week is the energy of love so uh, this month we are going to be working with the hermit the energy of the hermit is a water energy the zodiac energy is going to be fire and the energy of the hurt so the last two weeks is going to be very wonderful for you Tauruses for you earth people it's going to be a positive Positive month because um, the energy vibration of the hurt energies are going to be working with you to find your inner light your inner light of who you are and to do a transformation of who you are learning um, teaching you to connect with your spirit guides and your angels okay so whatsoever is happening it's going to be good your focus is going to be the energy of the two four six eight nine of pentacles and this is going to be extremely good so let me put my glasses on because um, it's a little bit dark so I'm putting my glasses on and we have the ten of pentacles my excuses so see it's a good thing I put my glasses on so for you Taurus in the month of August you are going to have the energy vibration of the ten of Pentacles so this is going to be wonderful whatever is happening it is going to be extremely good this energy of the ten of Pentacles as your focus so a lot of people will be receiving money a lot of people this is inheritance money and financial balance in your life so this is going to be extremely good as we move forward and we're looking at the weeks we have five weeks in this month the first week is an earth energy week so it's going to be a very good week and the two last week is also the two first weeks and the two last week is going to be a very positive positive energies for whatsoever that is going on the second week is going to be the energy of love it's going to be a water week the third week is going to be the tower of fire week and the fourth week is going to be just this balancing out of situations and it is going to be very very positive and as we look at the last week we have the energy of the fool so you're going on a new journey so whatever the situation is a lot of openings are going to happen for new people for work in organization and that sort of a thing it is also connecting with who you are and connecting in a way where you're going to connect with your spirit guides and that sort of a thing in the last week because the energy of the moon comes up and it's a water week as we break the weeks down and we're looking at the week we have the energy of the three of swords the energy of the three of swords whatsoever is happening this energy of the three of swords uh, I seems to be having also double cards for you guys I don't know why the three of swords energy carries the energy of the nine of cups so whatever is a loss you're going to gain something much 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 better and this is going to be good okay because the nine of cups is going to be the energy of uh, your wishes and dreams are coming true. so whatever the small loss is you're going to gain something even much better so you don't have to worry about whatever the loss was okay it is a week that you need to have balance the earth energy comes up that is going to bring balance in your life and whatsoever is happening there is a lot of people talking and whatever they're talking about it is not going to affect you because people can always talk people can talk and good um, ways for you but people can also um, speak about you badly and whatever small loss it is it's not a loss it is something that you did not need in your life okay so whatever the the the, the situation is understand that uh, this three of swords the small loss because it's a small loss because after 
that you have the nine of cups so your wishes and dreams are coming true so whatever the small loss is it's going to make up in a big way and whatever people are talking about and gossiping about it doesn't have to affect you in any way because you have the energy of balance so learn to balance these two cards you need to learn to balance this two card the energy of the first week is going to be an earth energy and this you are going to find that the Virgo people are coming in to bring balance in your life so this is really a wonderful positive week so, um, this little loss that is going to happen is not much and it's just somebody who you never really need in your life okay as we look at the second week we have the second week and we have the energy of the six of one so good news is coming in in the second week and this good news that is coming in is about a relationship so a lot of people are going to be connecting with their soul family and also their twin flame relationship and this is good so with the six of ones that is coming in whoever this person is coming in your life and you're going to meet them it's going to be a relationship of a lifetime it's going to be the relationship that you have been waiting for and this is going to be extremely positive so love is strong in the second week for you guys I don't know what is happening in the universe but the second week seems to be a strong week with relationship and twin flames relationship because this energy when this energy comes up in a reading is a positive energy of a soulmate and a twin flame relationship that is coming in as we look at the third week we also for some hour you guys got two cards we have the five of Pentacles in reverse and this this is good whatever is coming in in the third week you have the five of Pentacles in reverse and that is replaced by the seven of Pentacles that you're working hard and something so this is extremely extremely positive the energy of the tower comes down and the tower comes down um, with a five of Pentacles so let's say that your financial situation has been blocked for a time there is going to come an end to it whatever your financial situation was because the five of Pentacles is in reverse you are going to see a tremendous change and you by working hard you are going to heal your financial situation so whatever this was why your financial situation was you know not being balanced and not flowing you're going to see that the tower is going to clear it up and it's going to bring an end to whatever that situation was that was blocking your financial situation and by working hard you are going to regain your financial uh, security in your life so this is going to be good so in the third week it's all about your financial situation and remember that whatever is happening and the changes that are coming in it's your spirit guides who are bringing them in as we move forward to the fourth week we have the energy vibration of the mother of ones the mother of ones is someone who is an Aries um, a Sagittarius or a Leo okay the mother of ones is here whatever it is you are getting justice against the 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 the, the, the and I'm feeling for a Sagittarius person whoever that person was the second energy that came out because I don't know why um, you have the three of cups and it's going to be a celebration so whatever is happening between you and this 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 energy of uh, um, this um, Aries uh, this Aries person and it's a Sagittarius or a Leo whatever injustice that has happened between you both uh, you are going to be celebrating this and in a good way so what's to ever that has been happening you realize uh, that whoever this person is there is going to be a huge celebration you're going to celebrate because you're going to have a victory and justice is going to come in and bring you a wonderful victory to this uh, situation with this person so this is good for you Tauruses and for the people who are 30 and over this is what is going to happen for you so let's say you had a legal situation or you were divorcing this person or whatever the situation is you're going to be justified because uh, whatever has transpired justice is going to come in a balance is going to come in and this is going to affect the people over 30 years old okay 
for the rest of the people it's going to be a wonderful balancing of situations in your life there's going to be a celebration so this is going to be good so despite whatever has transpired between you and the mother of ones which is an Aries person it is going to work out perfectly because you are going to have a celebration so be aware of that okay and this is going to affect most of the people over 30 it has to do with some people that it has to do with situations with someone who is over 30 so it's going to affect a lot of people who is over 30 as we move forward and we look at the last week we have the energy of the fool the energy of the fool and the energy of the moon and this can um, for some people that you have connected with your higher self and your guides and angels and you have decided to move on to something much better you have decided to change who you are in an energetic level and this is going to be good whatever is going on it is going to be good because you have the energy of the high princess here so it's two times the moon so there is a lot of you people who it's as if the earth age the earth energy people will be connecting with the spirit world on a positive positive way and this is so because whatever is happening in your life you have the energy of the the um the tower the um yeah the energy of the tower but this has to do with organization this has to do with government or authority and that sort of a thing so whatsoever is happening some people can be um, you know uh, changing jobs so going to find and if you're waiting on uh, as um, information from government builders and that sort of a thing you're going to be connected with them in some way um, because whatever is coming out is going to be extremely good okay whatever is coming out it's going to be extremely good it's going to bring you balance in your life so whatever situation you have with authority and that sort of a figure or a yes whatever imbalance there was and that sort of a thing it's going to be okay because you're going to be connecting this can also be for some people who are working on the fourth dimension and fifth dimension you're going to connect with your spirit guides and your universal angels okay and for the earthly thing is that whatever you were waiting on from organization and authority and you know it's going to be good whatever that situation it's going to bring you balance in your life and this is going to be a positive one so as we look at your week and we, we look at your month I keep on saying week and look at your month whatever it is financial situation is going to be balanced out um, you're at the end of the month you're going to see that your your situation your financial situation is going to be good because whatsoever was happening in the first week you have a little bit of loss but you gain something more and um, much more important whatever that that was and when we look at the second we see the energy of love coming in in the second week so if you are looking for a relationship if you have met, if you're going to be meeting someone in the second week this is going to be good because this is going to be a relationship that uh, is a cosmic relationship and this is going to be a positive positive one uh, for the people over 30 whatever injustice imbalances you have been going through it's going to be positive okay in the third week when we look at the situation we had the five of one the five of Pentacles in reversal and there comes an end to the hardship and by working hard on whatsoever you would like to achieve and accomplish in your life you are going to have positive uh, endeavors um what I, I i should say for the energies of the lovers um a lot of you are going to find yourself getting married um for the energies of the lovers and and this is all about um you connecting with someone who you have found and you know that as means so much to you in a soul uh, situation and the love in this month is going to be extremely good it doesn't matter and especially for the people 30 and over love is going to be extremely positive um, whatever the loss is let it go and I'm feeling that is the loss for some people that a certain relationship didn't work out and that sort of a thing and you have let it go in the first week you think 
I don't need to have this in my life I need balance in my life and you're going to let this go so it's going to be good in the situation with work and that sort of a thing work is going to be one of the most prominent things you need to have work in your life you need to have this sort of a situation as we look forward and we're looking at the sun, the Sun energy let's look and see what the um, Sun people for the Tauruses are going to have you're gonna have the planet Jupiter working with you so it's just gonna be good Jupiter brings you good luck we are gonna have the Gemini's which is love so a lot of you are going to find out that in the third week you're really um, um, teaming up with either the Gemini's or the cancer people which is good in uh, relationships and then the last energy what do we have uh, we have the Tauruses so here we are the Taurus is your, your own energy vibration is here so this is good so for the sun rising people we are going to work with the, the planet of Jupiter which is or the God Jupiter which is good and we are going to be working with the Gemini's which is in the energy vibration of love the Gemini's and the cancer and then we have your whole energy vibration so this is good so whatsoever is happening the universe is saying is that we are backing you in whatever endeavor that is going on in your life which is extremely positive as we look now at the lunar people the people who were born in the nights let's look for what the energy vibration have for you Tauruses and we have Sagittarius coming up again and we have the cancers which is working on things that you have been holding on to and we have the Capricorns I've never seen the Capricorns coming up for another sign but this is good so for the lunar people we are going to have the Sagittarians which is good Sagittarians are good people to have in relationship for you Tauruses and then we are going to have the cancers coming up and this is good because in um, the Sagittarius and the Cancers is a positive energy the, they can be very good relationships but yet still we have uh, the Capricorns too so if you're looking for love for unite people the, the Capricorns are very psychic people so um, they work with the spirit world more than you guys because you are more of an earthly energy vibration and the Capricorns work with the unseen world and the Cancers also work with the unseen world while the Sagittarians are the healers so this is good for you moon people because whatever is happening is that you are going to bring out something wonderful in your psychic it's as if they all came in to heal you with your psychic endeavors so for you moon people you have the Sagittarius the, the Cancers and the Capricorns which is a wonderful connection especially in love and business so this is going to be positive we are at the end of our reading and we are looking what the uh, vortex the energy vibration from the vortex what do they have to say to you Tauruses and we have my most important relationship is with my source and that is so true there is no relationship of greater importance to achieve than the relationship between you in your physical body right here and right now and the soul of source creator from which you come if you tend to relationship first and foremost you will then only then have the stable foot to proceed into other relationships your relationships with your own body with money with your parents with your children with your grandchildren and your world will all fall easily into alignment once you tend to this foundational relationship first so what it is saying is that you need to tend to the relationship between yourself and source and this is a month where the hermit comes in and take place and it's going to help you to um, heal that relationship between yourself and the source 
so this is a wonderful and a positive positive um, last vibrational energy card and this is good because what is happening and I so love these cards they're just so wonderful she has done a good job this is from Estheic and she has done a good job on these cards and I want to say to each and every person out there remember that whatever we send out in the universe the um, vibrational energies of the universe that is what we um, receive in return and we need to understand this so that we can bring in positive energies in our lives and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here and um, I'm hoping and I'm wishing um, a wonderful month for you guys love is going to be um, really strong uh, until next month namaste Thank you.